get Mr. Homeschool. Hi, Mr. Homeschool here. So today's lesson is gonna be all about leaves. So leaves can be found on two main types of trees. There is deciduous and then there's coniferous. So deciduous trees will lose their leaves at some point in the year. For example, in colder parts of the world, the leaves will fall in the fall. And in hotter parts of the world, they'll fall when it's the driest part of the year. And some trees don't lose all their leaves at the same time. So like evergreen trees, for example, they always stay green. So leaves come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. They're normally flat, but some of them come in the form of needles, like on Christmas trees. So based on where you're living, you may see the leaves changing colors to red, yellow, and orange every year, right before they fall. But why? Okay, so let's start at the beginning. So leaves are normally green because of a bright green chemical inside of them called chlorophyll. So it's the chlorophyll that's capturing all the energy for the tree from the sunlight. So leaves have a whole bunch of other chemicals inside them, also known as pigments, like red, yellow, orange, and even purple. But green shows the most because the chlorophyll inside of them is the most dominant and important one. So since in the warmer months, when the leaves get all that sunlight in those long days, the leaves will stay green. But as summer starts to turn into fall and the days are shorter with less sunlight, the trees are gonna make less chlorophyll. And less chlorophyll means less green. And now those other chemical colors can come through. So enjoy the colors while you can, because in no time, they're gonna fall to the ground. Without the chlorophyll to make energy, they serve no purpose anymore. So basically the stored energy gets stashed into its tree so the tree can survive through the winter and then the leaves fall off. And then fast forward to the spring when the days are longer and warmer, the tree will grow new leaves again to capture that sunlight for energy and it starts all over again. Okay, so leaves can be used for a really fun fall craft. So we have our friend here to show us how. So all you need is a piece of paper, a crayon, and a leaf. All right, you take your piece of paper and put your leaf under it. Hold it down and take one of your crayons that you have at home without wrapping paper and start rubbing all over where the leaf is. You might get some veins on there, you might not, but it should come out to look like this bit up here. If you want you can turn your paper a little bit to get more of the leaf. Hopefully it looks like that. Look Mr. Homeschool. Wow that is unbelievable. <laughs> hey thanks for coming with us to learn all about leaves. I had a tremendous time. <laughs> So on a serious note, I want to thank y'all for the support as I just hit 4,000 subscribers. My love for you is evergreen. So if you have any video topic requests or any questions, please email me directly at mr.homeschool at yahoo.com. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more things like this, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. So I gotta make like a tree and leave. So as always, thank you and God bless you. Mr. Homeschool.